Hello YouTube, this is Laponer again, and this is Black Ops 2 gameplay. I haven't done Call of Duty gameplay in a long time, mostly because I've been playing other games. I got Prototype, Prototype 2, got some other stuff. All new, so... I don't play Call of Duty much, but when I do, it's okay. So as you can see... This is Black Ops 2, and uh, I'm 8th? I know, 7th. I think it's 7th Prestige. Um, I don't really know the Black Ops Prestige is by hand, but I'm fairly certain that I'm 7th Prestige, correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm only, I'm only like level 17 or so in this video, I believe. Because I... yeah, I haven't played Black Ops in a while. But uh, what I have noticed, though, is that everyone sucks at Black Ops now. Like, I was... Far from a good player, like, in terms of kills and deaths, I mean, I usually suck. But, um, recently when I've been playing Black Ops, I've been getting good kill-death ratios. Everything's been positive for me, which is rarely the case normally. So I believe that, um, everyone isn't as good as this game as it used to be. Probably because everyone's moved on and the new and people playing it now are either the hardcore ones or people who just picked it up, like, in the last week who are terrible at it. But yeah, so we're playing Domination, as it, uh, as it seems. Um, Black Ops is actually a pretty decent game, no, I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, campaign was interesting, it was different than most other Call of Duties. I like that they switched up a little bit and added a twist, one that I wouldn't share. Well, I'm not gonna say, because if you haven't played the campaign, then I'll just leave it. But it was nothing that I expected, and it turned out pretty good. And zombies, that was good. It's nice that they included two, well, three if you count uh, Dead Ops Arcade maps to it. Whereas with uh, Call of Duty World of War, they only included one and the rest were DLC. But don't get me wrong, the DLC for this game is pretty expensive. Like, I bought First Strike and... Um, what's it called? First Strike and Escalation. And I didn't buy Annihilation, because I didn't want to spend more money. But I, do ha I did have Shangri-La for the longest time. Then I lost it, so, um, yeah, I have Resurrection, because I got the Hardened Edition, they gave me Moon for free, because I already owned all the other maps, and, yeah, I think it's a pretty good package, well, it's kind of outdated now, hopefully Black Ops 2 will be a bit of the same, in terms of, uh, content, but, um, yeah, I'm using Ghost, Warlord, for some reason I like the M16 with the Reflex Sight and a Silencer, it gets you, um, I, I like it, it's good for long range. Not only that, but you, you're not really detected that easily. So, that's my personal preference uh, in Black Ops right now. So, the whole point of this video is, well first of all I have this gameplay on hand, I decided I'd upload it. And not only that, but Black Ops 2 is coming out, so... Um, kinda preparation for that. Um, yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be like. I know it's well, we already know it takes place in the future. Not too much in the future, though. Like, not like 2300. It's like 2025 or something like that. Which isn't too bad. But, anyways... Enemy Valkyrie above. So, this is a DLC map, if you did not know. As far as I know, this is on first strike. I'm not very common with the DLC maps anymore, because I haven't played this game in a while. But, that's generally the idea. So, um, this map's okay, it's in the s s snowy. I personally like it for snipers, but I didn't feel like sniping at the time that I recorded this. Plus, the sniping on Black Ops is kind of different than others. I just wish that Call of Duty 4 was still playable on PS3. I haven't checked in maybe like three weeks, but it always gives me a yes no continue screen. I'm not sure if you probably know about it if you, uh, if you have Call of Duty 4 on PS3. I think it may have happened on Xbox as well. But it basically, you cannot get past that screen if you're connected to the internet. You can sign out of the internet, however, but you will not be able to sign into the PlayStation Network. Unless you have wired connection, then you unplug the wire, then start the game, and then when you're already in the game, you plug the wire back in. But unfortunately, I'm using wireless, and the only way to get past that right now is to unplug my router and plug it back in, and that's very tedious, because I always have stuff going on, and I just don't want to mess up my entire internet for that. So, I already contacted Activision, but they just don't seem to care. Or they just keep telling me that they'll do it, but I highly doubt they will. 
But hopefully they do because it's kind of annoying and Call of Duty 4 doesn't run very well on my computer. Even though the PC version's no doubt better than the PS3 version, it's always nice to be able to play it on PS3 online. So I kind of got a double kill there. That was that was kind of good. Anyways, so yeah, Black Ops in preparation for Black Ops 2. So, um, Modern Warfare 3, I haven't really played much of it. I finally prestiged. It took me a long time to get to level 80, mostly because I barely played it, but you know, it's, it's all good. It was a pretty decent game, I guess. I mean, definitely nowhere near as good as Battlefield 3, that's for sure. In terms of quality and intensity. But it was still alright, nonetheless. I have um, DLC to look forward to because I got the Hardened Edition. Some Call of Duty Elite stuff coming out. And, um, yeah, one thing I liked about Black Ops was the how they, well, they didn't fully make customization, but they at least give you the option to make your own emblem, which is kind of neat. So I'm kind of camping it up here, I don't know why, I'm just trying to get some kills, I guess. Oh, took out that guy. Trying to start, oh, oh. So, anyways, um, this is just some random gameplay I had, so I decided to upload it with a decent commentary. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna record. I was thinking about doing a game review for the first time. I'm not sure how that would go. Um, I don't know what game to do though. I want to do something that I'm fairly new to, not like a game I've played for like a couple of years. Then review it now. Uh, I might do it for Prototype or Prototype 2, but I'd like some gameplay to go along with it. So, I'd probably have to record some of that. But um, leave a comment on anything, any suggestions you'd like, like what should I do more of, because I really don't know what to record, I'm just kind of all over the place. I recorded some Skyrim, uh, some Skyrim gameplay, I might I might upload that. But um, yeah, I don't know what to do right now. Uh, unboxings are what I've been doing recently, mostly because they're simple, but they also cost more money, so <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing those too much anytime soon. I might be getting Resistance Burning Skies though, it comes out one month. And other than that, I'm not. Sh I don't really have anything else planned. You know, recent um, Assassin's Creed 3 and Black Ops 2. Those are two for sure. Um, the Last of Us, as far as I know, comes out this year, so I'll probably be doing that as well. And Bioshock Infinite got delayed till 2012. No, 2013, February. So you're gonna have to wait till then. But, um, I may even get Borderlands 2. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll see when the time comes, but um, yeah, so, Black Ops and Black Ops 2, that's what it's looking at right now. Um, also pre-ordered the Black Ops 2 at uh, EB Games, which is GameStop in Canada, basically, and they give you a free poster, and the poster is pretty big, I'm looking at it right now, and it has the zombies on one side, which is neat because they haven't really said much, so there's some hidden secrets on there as far as I know. So, um, yeah, hopefully Black Ops 2 will be good. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's mostly going to be generally the same. I don't see it being a disaster, though. That's out of the question. But the question is if it's going to be any good. Like, it's not going to be a bomb, but it's not, probably not going to be amazing. It's probably going to be like a, like a meh. But, um, I kind of ran out of ammo here, if you're wondering. But, um... I'm not really like commentating on the gameplay itself, it's more of like a added bonus for the viewer. So don't expect me to um, often relate back to this gameplay, I'm just kind of ranting on here. But um, if you'd rather I post gameplay and be more focused on the gameplay and not just random discussion, I'll leave that as a comment because I don't know what you guys want, you're the viewers, so it's not, it's up to you really. Our team is winning right now, and I'm just trying to find a gun, because I have low ammo. And unfortunately I don't have scavenger, because I'm on my sniper class, you know. Well, not sniper, just stealthy. That requires ghost. Oh, crap. No, no, ah! Like that didn't work out as I planned. I was planning on knifing the guy and shooting him and stealing his weapon. It's a 
barely had any ammo. I wasted all my pistol ammo on him. That was like four anyways. So, um, yeah, care package seems pretty legit. Sand turtle, not bad. I hate it when you get ammo. That just annoys me. And especially when your team doesn't have hardline pro or you don't have hardline pro. You can't swap it, it just sits there and it's annoying and then eventually the enemy steals it. Ugh, it's just annoying. But, um, yeah, so this is Black Ops gameplay, as I've said multiple times. Sam turrets are good, I like them. It's more of a strategic way of playing. Uh, in Modern Warfare 3, basically all I do is use recon. Like, I have UAV counter UAV and recon drone as my kill streaks, just because it, it helps the team out. Because UAVs can be really helpful. And I just hate it when I need one and there's not one there, so I kind of help the team out like that. Alright, well that's the end of the game, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be having more videos out soon. So, like up gameplay. We lost, sadly, but, you know, still a good game domination. So yeah, that's it. Um, scoreboard, see my kills and deaths, I don't really remember what they are, but they're there. Alright, bye.